Hey filmmaker, Shongli here. I have worked on film sets where we have a video village with wireless monitors and these really help us out in many ways smoothing out the workflow on set compared to working on sets where we have none. As time is money and anything that can help you wrap up your movie faster will save you quite a lot of money and also give you extra time to film like extra takes or additional angles. The rig I set up for a recent short film was with the SeaTac Atom 156 monitor with the Vexus Atom 500 to get a wireless signal from the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. This setup we used for an indoor set and gave us a really nice 15.6 inch screen to view from. We powered the SeaTac monitor with a Rinchen uh, theme mount battery and was able to power it for an entire day with just a single battery but also meant we could move the monitor around without having to deal with cables connected to the wall sockets. And for the street scenes, we use a five inch monitor from Fearworld, the F5 Pro, and also with in combination with the Vexus Atom 500 for the wireless feed. The great thing with this setup was that we could power the entire setup with just a single Sony F970 battery and also keeping the setup nice and small to carry from one location to another but also not attract a lot of attention compared to the large SeaTac monitor. So most of you might be thinking that the wireless monitor is only useful for the director to see directly what is being filmed without needing to check the playback but also of course that would smoothen the production and lessen the amount of time watching the playbacks. Another great way of using a wireless monitor is when the camera is very far away. So for a special scene that we had is we had the camera filming a bridge from 65 meters away and we had the director and directors of course on the bridge itself so the director could directly give instructions to the actors and the director basically had a wireless monitor to see what is being filmed and also uh, yeah give uh, the instructions to the actors where to position and basically the director only had to phone in towards the camera operator to tell the operator when to start uh, recording and also it is very helpful for framing the camera when you have your camera specially mounted in a corner or in a special way where it's difficult to see the screen of the camera so you could still see like the framing of it but also if the camera is recording and also of course all the exposure settings However, it's not only useful while filming, but also before we start filming anything, especially for set dressing and we could just place the camera where we wanted to film, but have the production design team set up the scene and also have the wireless monitor to view from. They can easily adjust uh, objects and placement of them and often something they have uh, probably designed or sketched in pre-production might be quite different than compared to seeing it on camera so they can actually adjust much better for it. And also for me as a DOP and gaffer it is sometimes much easier to have a wireless monitor to check the lighting especially if you need to adjust the lighting it is much easier to directly see what is happening instead of having to run back and forth from the camera to see what the lighting have done. So spending a little bit more on buying or renting a monitor with a wireless transmitter, you can save quite a lot of time on set, which could be used to uh, get another take or maybe even uh, wrap up a day earlier, spending less money on your movie. So if you want to see the movie that I helped on, there'll be a link in the description below that you can click on. And also, uh, if this has helped you, if you were contemplating, if you should be using a wireless monitor, please click on the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comment it in the comment section here below. And that I would really, really appreciate. And also, uh, yeah, if you want to check out next videos, they'll be popping up right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.